bring a chair and Jen. Uh, we're gonna, it's a pink chair, so we're going to open it up and we're going to set it up and see what you get when you get something like this. So let's go ahead and open it up. I would they give you off the bat a few of the screws and everything. Uh, Allen wrench, that's pretty much what you're going to need. A couple of covers and everything's well numbered. Well, I mean, well labeled actually. Like you can see, they give you everything. That would say. All right, so I was looking for the instructions. They're actually in the bottom of the seat, all right? So you're gonna have to open this up and look for the instructions. Um, I couldn't find them. I almost complained that there was an extreme, but they're under the seat, if you guys can see. Uh, they give you Jen and Jen, the instructions right here, and a thank you enclosure, all right? So they're, they're, they're located here. So we're, let's go ahead and continue. All right, last time I did a video, people were a little upset that I didn't show the instructions, so Listen, you, you're gonna have to get the base first, the base screws, they're located in here, it says base. It will say on the bottom, it says base bolts, all right? So you get the base bolt. Um, the screws, holes are not in this section, they're actually behind, if you guys can see it. So these have to be facing up, so you can put the screws in here. You're gonna need the Allen wrench that's included in there, and all you gotta do is set it up, so simple. Put them all in there. If you want, you can just put them all now at once. And then start screwing them in so you won't mess up on this. So remember, they're facing up. There's only one direction. All right? One direction. You can't go down because the base won't, won't show you. So they're all facing up. All right? Close them up. Then start dropping the bolts. And there you go. You got all of them there spinning. And then you can put the wheels if you want. It actually gives you the instructions after that to put the base, but put the wheels in first. So pop them in there. And pop them in. Just there we go. A little bit tough. That's a little bit tough in there, right? So Make sure you put them in. You can always replace these wheels too to better wheels. They do sell them. They sell better wheels. I seen uh, online. Actually, I replaced them before. Um, recommend you better wheels if you have carpets. These wheels are pretty much good for hardwood floor, and they scratch up and they eat up your hardwood floor too. So maybe you want to get a um, somewhat silicone rubber ends because these don't really have any uh, like tractions or anything like that. So be careful about that, or maybe get a mat for it. All right, now the piece of resistance is this part right here. Just drop it in there and that's it. That's part two in the instructions, all right? We drop that in there already. We drop the tantara in there. Let's bring the front, we're gonna move this to the side. Bring the front base, which is right here. And it says front, right? It says front right here on the bottom of the base. And then you bring the, the metal piece that goes in here, facing front, all right? This one says front, you have to face it front this way, all right? So they have to be bolted in there, four of them, if you guys can see it. Put that in there. Everything's in there. So we got the base down, and it says front, front, so you can't miss it. It tells you the instructions, and drop it in here. We'll drop it in here. It could go either way, doesn't matter, but once you drop it in there, you got your seat going, at least the front, front part of it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and set up the base and the handle and the back end too. So we're going to do that. And there's left and right. So if you're sitting down, this is going to be the right hand side and this is going to be the left hand side. And they're both labeled. So this one right now we're going to do is the first one. This is going to be the, it tells you right there, R for right. So right, it's going to be on this side right here. All right. So we're going to set it up on this side. As you can see right here. And then on the bolts, for the bolts, they tell you right here, it says arm bolts, all right? So let's go ahead and do the arm bolts.
All right, we got everything in here. Now we're gonna do with the the actual back end. So let's bring in the rest of them. We got that part, we got the base, we got the handles. Now we're gonna do the seats. Okay. This is hard to put this in. Let's turn it around. All right, so we got it going now. We're gonna put in the caps now, and they do give you extra three screws left over. So in case you mess up somewhere or you lose them, they give you three, but we're gonna start putting the caps in there and then we'll go a little bit more in depth on the quality and the seat and give it to the, the customer. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see right here, um, the only thing I didn't like about this that there was no strap to ever so you're gonna probably lose that <laughs> or you might want to remove it um, this one came with an actual little bungee um, cord like a little um, kind of nylon thing to get on there now the hands if you guys can see they can lift up the hands can lift up um, both of them they're a little stiff because it's brand new right um, the built the hardest part was the actual base I needed extra help somebody to help me on the back and I was able to do it um, this part right here was a little too loose so it, you needed to type both of them in um, pretty much gone on around let's go around here so you can show you some of the stuff that I was talking about on um, the caps we put the caps in here uh, you got basic um, uh, options to go up and down move the slider uh, pretty much and this is the actual chair, bird's eye view. Mm -hmm. 